my mouse. That shouldn't be... Hold on. Uh-oh. We might be getting underway here shortly. Wow, she got it first fucking try. Are you serious? Oh, why'd you reset that? What did she want? <laughs> did she not see the curse room? <laughs> why'd she reset that one? Oh, she had such a good one, too. She actually had the curse room attached to it. You figure that's what she would have gone for. Oh, looks like they're actually underway. Alright, so Kazooie Girl's item tracker is going to be have to get reset at some point here. As soon as she does, I'll actually turn her item tracker back on. Not a big deal, but as soon as she gets that reset, we'll get that turned back on. So again, being that they're off and running, they've got a five restart limit here. So if you notice, Fire on Earth's kind of crushing through his already. <coughs> He's also not getting lucky. Pardon my cough. He's also really not getting lucky with those items yet. What about Kazooie Girl? Uh, well, you know, Parasite's not horrible. There we go. We're off and running on one side. Holy shit, right over to her boss fight, too. Again, small floors on basement, so you're not really gonna have to go that far out of your way to find anything here. <laughs> Cyber, you, you sound like that's like completely impossible somehow. Which, by the way, if you guys don't know what Condor is, uh, if you like Crypto the Necrodancer, yo, they race that, too. I'm not joking, maybe check out Eli Difficult's channel, um... They still do it on Jack's channel as well, Jackie Games. I don't remember if they switch it off or if it's all over. Get off of the table, honey. Sorry, cat. Anyways, I don't remember if it's all on one channel or not anymore. Yep, exhibition races tonight. What's up, Talon? How you doing, dude? <laughs> Go, Sally! <laughs> wow, he's super unlucky. Jesus fire, man. You were getting no luck, dude. So, the, the other thing with this. Ah, nice. Good news is that he has a reroll. Good news here, he's got one other chance. I might consider it how late you're in. Wow, he's gonna keep resetting though. You only get five total resets. So I didn't get to finish what I was saying about that beforehand, but here we go, Kazooie Girl already onto her second floor. And this is why I was, was this is why I put a reset on, or a limit on resets, I should say. Not saying she's too far ahead to catch, cause believe me, she's not. She's like three rooms ahead, maybe right now, total. But, you know, kind of want to get him off and running nice. He's got a reroll if he needs it, so Fire's not got the worst setup. That's a terrible curse room for him at the moment, unless he gets super lucky. Come on, Judgy, do it. He can't. Oh, Judgy, do it. Oh, so lucky. He's going to keep contract from below. What do we got in the item room that he didn't... Sh I would have checked this first just to be safe. He's going to take Proptosis. I also don't blame him because that's nice damage up. And he doesn't even need the reroll. Now can Fire stay alive? Otherwise, we're going to have to tell you about the... Uh, I'll, I'll get to Kazooie Girl in a second here with, with her ridiculously OP here. However, if uh, Fire can keep this going and not die, we're good. But if Fire dies, all those resets, if he would have had any, he doesn't, are out the window. He has to skip the first item room from here on out if he does reset or if he dies. So keep that in mind right off the bat. Fire will severely get gimped if he dies from here on out, and he's got half a heart and Larry Jr. Stay far enough away and you're good. On the note of, hey man, those are some big tears on both sides. What the hell happened to Kazooie Girl? Well, <laughs> yeah, she's she's kind of powerful at the moment. That, that would be uh, Polyphemus. She just grabbed even, oh my god. Seriously, this build already. I'm gonna get her to reset her item tracker after this run so it works again so you can see this building up. But dear God, this build for her right now. And she's got almost literally a one floor and one room advantage right now. Fires onto his second floor, she's onto her third. Again, we're going through the chest right now. It's it's not working right, Kensig. She doesn't have hers updated yet. She has to reset it on her side. These are really not bad builds. I mean, again, obviously, Kazooie's Girl's got a kind of ridiculous build starting off already, but Fires is pretty darn nice, too, for only being on the second floor. Yeah, Poly Parasite and, um... Oh, God, what she just pick up off the boss? I can't think of names now. Jesus, I'm terrible. What about... F Get her grab a card off of this one. I, he's obviously not keeping this with him. Not gonna re-roll that. Gonna keep it for his devil deal. He's gonna make sure he keeps his roll for that devil deal just in case and then maybe come back for that item room. And I do mean maybe. He's close enough. He might go back if he doesn't need this re-roll. 
but the gist is you're guaranteed notice 100% on his left side on Fire on Earth. He's guaranteed to get a double deal still unless he takes red heart damage. Then it's up in the air. There's no way he takes that much damage, so he's gonna get one. Uh, I wouldn't take that on Kazooie Girl's side. She's gonna leave this behind. Let's see. Caffeine pill, little speed and size change. Yeah, this is why you re Oh, God. I'm gonna say, this is why you re-roll your devil deal. Fire got absolutely nothing out of that. He's leaving the item room and the devil deal items behind, so now he's got a higher chance at angel rooms than devil deals, which we also modified in this mod. Those should only have... I'm, I'm holding out hope. Those should only have item deals in them. You should only be able to pick up items, not just hearts, out of angel rooms. That was at request of the racers. Again, they wanted a lot of the stuff, so... We put votes up, if it, if it won, unless it was like one thing that I voted against, then it, then it went in. Oh, they're both cruising. Because Kazooie Girl's melting away her boss already here. That Her damage is just filthy, especially when you get a split on it and you wind up hitting twice. That was close. Nice dodge. But when she winds up hitting twice with her tears because of that split, maybe even three times, it's, it's pretty filthy OP. Some keys, some bombs for fire. I don't think he cared about getting a space use item there, but he wouldn't have minded re-rolling, I doubt, either. Ah, there's his item room, though. So let's see, just one... Like, imagine now if he gets Polyphemus. Like, how quick he can catch up, because that's going to jump his damage up even higher at that point. And again, we're assuming th there's, what, 400 items? We're kind of making a big assumption that it's going to be that. You know, little Loki, it's cute. It fires off in four directions. I'll take it. It's not by any means phenomenal or going to win him this race, but I'll take it at this point. Plus, he's got to keep cruising on. He's catching up to Kazooie Girl real fast. She just started off her Caves 2, and he's still on Caves 1, mind you, but I gotta imagine maybe two at three more rooms at the top before he finds this boss. You know, the other thing I just realized, you can't really see his trinket where we're at here. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, the, uh, the no trinket? Sorry, I just saw the question, and it just got answered by problems. Uh, but it makes it so that no spacebar items show up. Which, quite honestly, that's really not the worst thing here, because they're looking more for stat upgrades than they are to replace their D6. I gotta tell you, I'm I'm pretty much assuming a lot of the guys and gals, gal, there's one, um, are gonna, Kazooie Girl would be, duh, the lone gal here. Um, but it, I would assume that they're gonna keep the D6 pretty much all the time. Oh, God, the blue candle. Remember when that used to be, like, the thing to get in Boiler? Who remembers that far back? God, this is like memory lane right now. This is crazy. This is crazy fun right now again, too. Like, I never thought I would enjoy this again, but by God, this is super fucking fun still. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to, like, I guess if you want to push that down or maybe do the invert the way that the the tails are on the name tag, if that makes sense, like, push it the other way, where the name is up on top and then the tags are on the bottom. Is that even feasible? Or did that make sense? <laughs> and again, I can realign the coins. That's zero issue. That will take me two seconds. So it's actually already up, Talon. So you can already get the mod up on the workshop. And excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Let me mute really fast. Oh, excuse me. I may actually just hop in the, uh, the chat channel after this and be like, Hey, reset your, uh, your item tracker. <laughs> At least we know, though. Like, now I know what to tell them specifically. That's, again, the point of tonight was figuring out all the little glitches that we're going to have. One of them was I didn't know what to do to tell my racers how to actually use their item tracker correctly. Because I've never used it myself for this type of situation. So, this is me learning right now, and thankfully there's people in here that are like, no, dude, you want him to do this? Like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> so, thank you once again for the uh, the education, because I need it here, and that's exactly what tonight is. So, thank you one and all that are helping out. Nah, good lord, 39 straight months. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. Lon, you're good. Honestly, you're good to go. It, all I needed to do was know what I had to tell them. As far as, like, you know, Fire reset his tracker before he started, and Kazooie Girl, I didn't tell her to do that. I didn't know. Fire knew to do it, so he reset. But Kazooie Girl doesn't know, so that's why hers isn't working right now. Like, if I turn her tracker on, it's got her run from, like, hours ago. Like, that is not her build, if you're noticing. So, it works. It's just, I don't, she hasn't reset right now, so I can't get 
this run, if that makes sense. So I just have to, now I know that I have to tell my racers, like, hey, when you start your, your best of five off, just reset your item tracker once so that it actually gets it live for me and we're good. I do too. I love that the game keeps your stat upgrades told on the side. So like you can still make a good guess. I mean, you look, she has 22 damage. She has over three times the damage Fire on Earth is putting out. Think that through. Now here's the thing. She has a 19 fire rate and fires is, wow, I shouldn't say fire rate, rate of tears. And then fires is 10. So fire is, Jesus, fire on Earth is shooting fucking twice as fast as Kazooie Girl is. That is confusing and I have to stop saying fire all the time. Ooh, there goes that devil deal chance for fire. He just took some red heart damage. May not be the worst of things. I mean, at this point, oh God, the bloat. Ugh. One of my least favorite boss fights still. To this day, I hate this fight. It's simple. Once you know the patterns, he, look just like Kazooie Girl is doing. Perfect right here. Like, you, you stay out of the way of those double brimstones. That sucked. You can't really do much about those except run all the way to the other side if you think he's going to do the, uh, the blood drop. Sometimes it gets under your feet. But yeah, other than that, like, this fight's... It just sucks. I really do hate it. There we go. <laughs> Grab some health and moving on. So Kazooie Girl onto her depths too, keeping that slight advantage because Fire on Earth is catching up to her real fast. Oh, the yeah, the Mask of Infamy boss still right up there too. He's not as bad as he used to be though. At least in my opinion, he ain't as bad as he used to be. Well, I say that, but that's only because I tend to come across a lot more piercing items. Quite honestly, if you have piercing, Mask of Infamy is nothing. If you don't have piercing, that's where I cry foul on him, because he gets really nasty really quick. Uh, you know, I'll take that battery. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I'll take that AAA battery on Kazooie Girl's side. She's got enough keys, might as well crack this open. Eh, money. Not exactly useful, but it doubled up what she had. Ugh, Sister Viss. Okay. <laughs> Out of the new ones. This actually is only my second least favorite, and, uh, Dwayne, yeah, I'd say she's my second least favorite. They, I guess. <laughs> the plot's my favorite, especially when he's dead. <laughs> Tingle is a shit boss. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. Jay. Why, Jay, why? I love you, but why? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Diana used to love the Mask of Infamy? God. Remember the good times from Boiler, like, you know, when Casper found the poop, like, seven straight times to start off his runs? <laughs> ah, those are the days. Oh, here's another thing I totally forgot about, too. So, the, uh, the Void. I know a lot of people are probably like, well, what happens if, you know, or, um, is that what it's called? The, uh, where you get teleported after Womb 2? Um, we've actually got it set where no matter what, like, if you do get teleported to that extra level, it will teleport you back out of it. Yes, you're gonna lose some time, but on the offhand chance that you get teleported to the extra level, it will teleport you back out. It will, or I'm sorry, after Depths 2, I meant, I'm sorry. Um, I said Womb 2 and I meant Depths 2. Um, it automatically gives you the Polaroid and it automatically ports you to Womb 1. So, it works around it. You can't really fix it any other way. It works around it beautifully, though. So that's all on Zamiel again. So thank you to him. Because otherwise, I don't know what we do in that situation. What hit her? I didn't even see... It must have been something small on the ground. I did not even see what hit Kazooie Girl, but she took damage somehow. I guess I was watching the heart on the floor get kicked around more than anything. I have a bad habit of getting fixated on some of the smallest things in runs. Ooh, shielded tears. Fire ain't gonna be too upset by that one. That will save you a lot of incoming damage and a lot of time dodging stuff, because you can just stand straight at it and keep on firing if it's gonna shoot straight at you. Your tears will actually block most incoming tears. There are limits to that. There you go, Kazooie Girl. Okay, here's another thing. Remember, if you're going to open up... I haven't mentioned this rule. If you go into a room and it spawns enemies on you at any point, you have to kill those enemies. So keep that in mind for stuff like the boss rush. That's why she didn't go in there. And even if you have a way to teleport back out, you if you spawn the enemies, you got to kill all the enemies. Period. Like, that's how that works. So don't teleport back out of, of, of the boss rush type of thing. Like, we want it to be like a legit get of an item. We don't want it to just be like, oh, hey, okay, you found the boss rush, because we should all get to the boss rush. Let's be super real. They're all fast enough. They're going to get a boss rush to show up. Whew. 
Whew, here comes some gambling time. How do we work this? Let's see. Fire's got enough money. He actually got just enough. I didn't think he'd get it. Uh, yeah, I'd keep going. Yeah, I'd keep going still. Eh, you know. What are we doing? Let's take that heart. Take this back. I was gonna say. Oh, did he not even... Yeah, he didn't make back enough. <laughs> he didn't make back as much as I thought he would. Alright, ooh. Moving on to his... I thought he was on Depths 1 for some reason. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I thought Fire was still on Depths 1. That's my bad. I was like, wait a minute, that's Mom's foot. How the hell did he get Mom's foot in Depths 1? Because he's in Depths 2, you idiot. This is why I'm going to have Slackaholicus as my co-host, to make up for me being that dumb. Also, uh-oh, on this half a heart left on Fire's side. Which he, he didn't have any resets left anyway, so remember, should the worst happen here and he die, he does not get to go to that first item room. He just has to keep going with whatever he gets thrown at him. Cannot pick up items from that item room. And on to Womb 2 over on Kazooie Girl's side, so she's picking up an advantage here. And he, it's not like fire can go quick through, through the rest of this fight. I saw that shadow at the last second. That was close. Because he's got to be super careful right now. I'd almost think he's regretting not picking up that full heart right outside this room. Because he looked like he was thinking about it and passed on it to go in. Those shielded tears are making a world of difference for him, though. <laughs> Whew. All right, there we go. That's the big scary guy out of the way. I think you're going to have to kill the crier before mom pops back out. <laughs> Whew. Those are getting so close, man. Those are so close. But Slack can be dumb, too. <laughs> Oh, that's too good. Oh, yeah, you can bomb the reroll station. Yeah, that's there's all sorts of little... What, what's the word I'm looking for? Nicely done by fire. Get a god room out of it, too. And, eh, crown of light. Which means at least he gets a little bit of safety. He's got two soul hearts. That's why he took that. Wow, that glow. Holy shit, that pink glow on the crown. <laughs> wow, that item tracker. Holy crap. So that... That slightly broke the item tracker, but that's one item that does it. That has nothing to do with you, Lon. Don't worry. That's that's the item tracker not understanding that. Also, that... Hold on. No, that's OBS not understanding, because it should have filtered out the pink. That's really strange. <laughs> Whatever. That's not... A, nobody else is going to get that, almost guaranteed. So I wouldn't worry too much. That's hilarious, though. Nuance. There you go. That's the word. Thank you. Thank you, Squall. That's exactly the word. And if somebody wants to do exclamation mark rules, you can get uh, Daddy Peanut is uh, his link for you. For him, excuse me. See, I'm warming up my lack of idiocy before Wednesday as well. <laughs> thank you, Ducat. Thank you, thank you, man. Yeah, it's just slightly out of the range of what we're actually removing, and I do mean slightly. Because you can see it on the original one, too. Like, it's, it's just barely, barely transparent by comparison to what we have filtered. It's so close. <laughs> Anyways, on to what used to be the finishing point for Boiler Runs for Kazooie Girl. She's on Mom's heart over on the left side. Working on his womb. Boy, does that sound weird. Working on his womb on the right is fire on Earth. <laughs> He'll still never get over some of the things that forces you to say in this game. Oh, I hate when Mom pops up like that. All right, there we go. Nice split. Perfect. And now the real fun. Where is she going to dodge that? I was going to say, where in the hell is she going to dodge that? <laughs> she got herself into a bad corner up there. So one heart left. Oh, God. Teratoma with slow tears. Oh, get them. This is going to get scary. Oh, God. Jesus, nice dodge. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure at all on either side, by the way, right now. Good Lord. Uh-oh. No, the other way. Oh, <laughs> I saw her move the wrong way. Okay, so this brings up our, our death roll now. Kazooie Girl, you're going to notice, sadly, has to avoid that item room. Oh, both of them do, actually, because they're both back to the start. Okay, cool. His reset, too. Cool, cool. So that's what I was hoping for. So, okay, we just have to restart him before the best of fives. Sorry, I'm making notes. Anyways, this brings up our reset roll, like I was saying. If, you're, if you die, you got to skip that first item room. The racers wanted this. I did not come up with this. Hands off on this one. I'm letting you know right now the racers voted this in. Remember this well. <laughs> they wanted it so that if this happens and you die, you have to skip the first item room from then on out. Same thing if you use up all of your resets. You have to skip that first item room that has your two options in it. So that more options will disappear after this floor. It will do nothing for them anymore. 
So, on to their boss fights, as you see Kazooie Girl's just outside hers already. Can you two stop killing each other? Hi, I'm sitting here. You have the entire apartment, Kat. You pick literally right next to my butt. <laughs> Did you hear the whining? That's, oh, don't do it. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Gotta do this. <laughs> okay, anyways. Flashback time, we had to. Famine's on the left, we had to do this. Yeah, this is why you never think somebody has a one until the fat lady actually sings, and case in point, right there. And, like, how many people were thinking originally, like, oh, jeez, fire might actually die on mom's foot, and then he was the second one to die, so technically speaking, he stayed alive longer. Can you just stop fighting? Your brother and sister, stop doing this. You're not actually related, but I'm gonna pretend like you are. Bopper. Just bopper. She's being an idiot. Bopper. <laughs> At some point, I'm just going to put, like, Spaz on the left side and Tabitha on the right side, get two cameras, and try to focus one on each cat. And then we'll just run with it from there. Alright, so, looks like Fire took Mr. Dolly, so he got a little bit of health up. We got a ball of bandages, so nice orbital on Kazooie Girl's side. That actually... Can you two stop? I'm trying to talk. <laughs> so she's got a nice orbital that she can do a ton of touch damage with, assuming she wants to get in close to any enemies. There you go, just like she did. That is actually super OP by comparison to her tears. And both get their item rooms. Yeah, well, you know what? I'll take Se uh, pff, Seraphim, because I English real good. I'm not taking Little Chad. I'm not taking Poison Bombs. I'm not taking Eve's Perfume. Well, you know what? 99 bombs. Again, you cannot bomb through rooms. If you go in like this room... Okay, well, this is an exception. If, if she really wants flight, <laughs> I do too. If you go in this room, you're like, well, I have 99 bombs. I'm just going to bomb through the door. And. Eh. You gotta kill all the enemies that are spawned in here, and then you can go wherever else. If you get pumped, you know, like, bunched out, like, accidentally, just go back in before you clear the floor, make sure that room is clear, we're good. It's really pretty, you know, relatively straightforward, if you will. Ooh, not a half bad pickup, Mark over on Fireside. And now he's got the advantage, both damage-wise and as far as floors go, because he's onto his caves already. And Kazooie Girl's only the one floor behind. It's really one room if you look at it because her boss fight is right there. So she ain't far behind. Oh yeah, you can seek out your secret rooms. You can do all that stuff. You can actually bomb enemies to death, which with the 98 bombs left over, I'd totally be utilizing those on Kazooie's side because those are 40 damage. So yes, you can use bombs for whatever you want. Just if you happen to get pushed out of a room, you know, open a door, whatever, basically just kill the enemies that you've spawned. You're responsible for enemies that you've spawned is how to look at it. Now, if you get, like, if the door stays open and, like, you're gambling and it spawns a fly, you can leave. We're not, you know, that there's limits to this. But it's it's pretty straightforward stuff. <sighs> yeah, what do you lock this in with? She wants her devil deal, so if you're going to take one, I guess you take the razor, put it back down, and take your health back. Play it again and pray to God this demon judgey pays out. I like where she's going with it. Well, <laughs> he paid out. I just, you know, it's whatever. Mom's coin purse, she didn't even want to care about what came with it, but... Thanks, demon judgy? Question mark, I guess? <laughs> so yeah, moving on to Caves 1 for Kazooie Girl. Like I said, the, I, if I were her, I'd be using a lot of bombs and contact damage. What does Spider Mod actually do? It basically does everything that the actual program Spider Mod used to do, as far as like showing you the health of enemies, how much damage your tears were doing. A lot of it's kind of pointless now that, that that bar on the left exists. And you can actually see, you know, how much damage, how much range, etc. that you have. So it's it's kind of pointless, and I don't know if it does anything else outside of that. I've not paid much attention. I can't see what item that is. That is Judas's Shadow, okay. Yeah, these runs are not exactly amazing at the moment. I'm with you, Hughmaster. I am with you on that. They are not the best builds. If anything... I mean, I'm not going to complain about either of them being horrendous, because you can make do. Like, I mean, like, Kazooie Girl's got 99, well, 94 now, bombs. I mean, I can make a lot with that. Yeah, case in point right here, exactly what i do. I can make a lot happen pretty quick with those instead of relying on my tears. So can you make things happen with this? Yes. Are they terrible runs, though? Yeah, they're, they're pretty terribly set up. They're not getting lucky at all with their devil deals. Or their rerolls, for that matter. Balatar, it's something. 
So we got a little bit of, uh, obviously sticky feet going on. A little gish, if you will, for Kazooie Girl. And Pyromancer, thank you very much for the 21 straight months. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Foom? How you doing, sir? A good day, sir. One of the OGs here on Twitch slash JTV. If you guys don't know King Foom, definitely want to hit that man's channel up, because that that beard's cool. Let's, let's, let's leave it at that. He's cool. <laughs> you can find out for yourself, but quite literally give that man a follow if you haven't already. And how you doing, man? Good to see you, dude. The timers don't matter at all. I've never given a shit about timers on this. Never have, never will. Notice that there's no space for one on the screen? There won't be. Because it really doesn't matter. We've got such strange roles that the time doesn't matter for shit. When they get done, they get done. Like, it's it's one thing if it's like... You know what I mean? Like, hey lad, what's up, sir? How you doing? And <laughs> I almost called you Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix. I don't know why I screwed your name up so much. Phoenix, thank you very much, and welcome back into the litter box as well. How you doing tonight? Thank you, thank you. Speaking of Condor, because we were talking so nicely about it earlier, if you guys like Crypt of the Necrodancer racing, let alone somebody that actually knows what he's doing when he's playing video games, unlike this guy talking, Eli Difficult, another really good dude to follow, so you might want to click on his name and give him a follow. But yeah, they actually do some Crypt of the Necrodancer racing. They've got that all set up, kind of, you know... Well, at this point, better than I do. Let's be super real. They've got a way better idea of what they're doing than I do here. So definitely check that out because it's it's some good fun. Plus, the music in that game is great. They get other people on commentary like we're going to do as of Wednesday. It's it's well done. Definitely worth a look. So speaking of bombs, I like where fire's going with this. I'd be going over to this, too. What if we, ah, two of diamonds. Eh, it could be worse. Key's good. But that two of diamonds could have been so many more things. That could have been so much more useful. That'll double up his money, so. Yeah, we're just doing practice runs tonight, Sprinkles. Uh, the actual event starts up on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then, let's see, Wednesday's races are going to be... Because I remember who it is. Uh, let's see. Fire, who is actually on the right side. It's going to be Fire on Earth versus uh, Barry. And then, which is this guy's Barry, if you're looking on the, uh, the brackets. Uh, and then we are also going to have, uh, let's see, Cyber One versus Elven Cloud that night. I can't believe I couldn't find this that easily. So we'll have those two races on Wednesday. Uh, and then every Wednesday from then on out for the next two months, uh, basically, we have races. <coughs> Excuse me. And it'll be two races a night. I did not mean to cough in your ear. I apologize for that. Also, Continuum Tears. What do you guys think about Continuum Tears? I'm kind of iffy on this item because you can make a lot of good stuff happen with it. I just never go out of my way to do that. And as you're noticing, a fire goes through the, like he's doing right there. If you shoot through a wall, for example, you don't have to worry about your range. You can just get somebody who's on the other side of the room by shooting downwards and it'll come through the top side left it'll come through the right etc etc but i've actually hurt myself pretty bad with these tears so i kind of avoid them now <laughs> i kind of avoid these now just out of fear of hurting myself with something stupid like epic hack and like you know oh look it went through a wall oh look it hit me in the back of the head Blam! i've had some dumb stuff happen <laughs> Kazooie Girl's item tracker isn't working right now because she's just got to reset it on her side once and then that'll actually get it running. I forgot to tell her to do that and we're both newbies with it. So neither of us had used the item tracker like that before. And I forgot to tell her to, that she actually needed to reset it, not knowing. So that's on me at the moment. The other racers tonight or if she finds out that she just needs to reset it once, that'll start working. Like it's still got one of her old runs on there right now. So it like, let me show you. It does work. It's just those are not her items. So <laughs> that's what that's a run from like a day or two ago or something. So once she hits reset on her item tracker once, so if anybody happens to be able to get a, a you know, a, an ear of her at the, at the end of the race, don't do it during, don't, don't do it during. I don't care about it now. But um, if somebody can like, you know, if somebody has her ear after the race or if I, like I can drop a message and see if she notices too, but to tell her to hit reset on that once, then it'll work. So, it's just one of those things. Oh, items, come on. Oh, come on. Number one, there goes all the range on Kazooie Girl's side. She now has less than half the range she used to. So if you notice, she's at 13.32 range. Fire, on the other hand, has 31.25. 
Think about the difference there. That's how short you fire with number one. And woo, look at this. Devil deal right off the bat on that teleport. I was gonna say, I'd be re-rolling. I, oh God. Um, with, I can't see how many hearts she has total. That's the worst part. Well, she got a little bit of a heal from that, so I guess you couldn't do any worse than this. <laughs> there aren't a lot of people that play Gungeon. There's, that's the weird thing, Brain. Hey, what's up, dude? How you doing? You would think that there are, because it's, it's kind of a fitting game for it. It really is. And that was honestly one of them I was thinking about for a while. It was like, you know, this would actually, it could work as a tournament-based thing, but I don't know, A, if there's that many people, B, if there's that much interest, and see if it would even work. But it, it kind of seems like it would have, you know? Like, it's got that feel to it where it should. Because it's got the same Isaac randomness, if you will. And I, there are races of it. I'm full aware of that. And I think they're cool. It just, I, you don't see it that much. And that's such a letdown, sadly. God, I missed this. Clubbing of Isaac. Holy crap. I haven't heard this in like two years. Wow. You can just hear like one note out of a song that you've heard thousands of times and like, oh man, dude, this brings back memories of, insert whatever. Also, damn, that mutant spider is sexy looking over on, uh, over on Fire's side with his continuum tears. Look at all those. So pretty. <laughs> yeah, it would work really well at a very high level. I agree. Yeah, Kazooie Girl just went into like, oh, hey, I have 2.0 speed. I am the log cat. 2.0. Quite literally. This is That's as fast as you can go, by the way. She has full speed. Ooh, that reroll's interesting, but yeah, I'd be leaving the void behind too, probably. Excuse me. Sorry about the burp. Yeah, dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, supply drop is supposed to fix some of the racing things. Uh, I haven't checked it out yet to see if it helped at all. Ah, I gotta look into that. Because that could be, like I said, that could be really cool. There's, there's all sorts of games that I keep looking at and thinking like, Man, that could work, but it's got, you know, one little thing wrong with it or something. All right, a little shot speed and damage increase, even though it shot her damage down. <laughs> that dropped one damage. What did I miss there? Oh, because uh, her devil deal last time, that's why. I really wish her item tracker was working. I'd remember so much more about what she has. This is, again, I got to give a shout out to Hyphenated on the item tracker, because, good lord, that would have been such a godsend when I was doing Boiler originally. Damn, dude, you have no idea. Like, no joke, like, this is absolute night and day difference. Oh, did he not see that spike? It doesn't matter. It, fire should have plenty of health here, but did he not see that spike? That sucks. <laughs> Axel. <laughs> I can talk to Suya, by the way, one of our other racers coming up here tonight, theoretically. Oh! That's where speed haunts me. Kazooie Girl had the same problem I did. That fucking jumper, dude. Those little bleeding jumper dudes. If she's asking, by the way, just to make sure, yes, you can just keep on resetting and going if you want to. <laughs> Ooh, nice, Helena. Nice. That I like. I gotta set the, uh, I think I should set the item trackers with a little bit bigger items, too. We're gonna find out in a moment or two, though. Oh, yeah, Lon was a huge help yesterday getting this working, because otherwise, like, yesterday was when I realized, like, oh, shoot, I don't know how to make this update and stuff, and he's like, yeah, you just do this, like, oh. Well, hell, that was easier than I thought. I think at this point, Kazooie Girl might also just be kind of waiting out what seems almost inevitable. Remember, we're going through the chest. And as you notice, it took out the way down to Shale. I'm sorry, Magic. I know. I know. I'm sorry, bro. But <laughs> it's going to be okay. But anyways, it, it forces you up here. It takes away the uh, the negative. It, it basically forces the Polaroid on you. And it only gives you the way up towards Cathedral in the chest. So she may just be waiting out the inevitable. Fire is just kind of looking for where he finishes up here, I think. <laughs> To be real with you, his build, I'd, I'd probably be able to win with that at this point, and I'm pretty sure he can, because he's better than me. <laughs> like, he's much better than me. All of these racers are better. Like, pretty much anyone that plays this game is better than me, if you haven't watched me stream before. And if anyone is curious, by the way, we are on normal mode, so if anyone's wondering, like, man, why are they getting all these drops that I don't ever get? Like, well, okay, that's a little bit of an exception. But, you know, like, why are they getting all these heart drops and stuff? I never get these. Normal mode. It's it. I don't know why, but for me, like we were having this discussion with the racers, and pretty much all of them were like, "Yeah, we kind of want normal mode. <laughs> like, it just makes racing a little bit more okay. I can breathe and focus on what I'm doing, type thing, instead of like, oh man, there's one heart, two rooms back on the left. 
And if I save that for like, you know, just let them run. So <laughs> I always kind of just say let them run. That it felt a little bit more natural. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you figured it out. Figured out. Oh, I'm probably missing a message in here. Lo and behold. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. How you doing, Elvin? Yet another one of our racers. Yeah, where is where, where's the buttless chub? Just pray to God not not showing up with a carrier uh, buttless carrion queen. Anybody remember that happening? <laughs> Poor chicken. <laughs> that was the funniest thing though. Like, are you? Oh wow, Joker card on the first floor. This could get interesting. It's oh yeah. I'll take both. Amen. I'll take the pentagram and I'll take the uh, the dead buddy. Heck yeah. Yeah, it makes the runs more comfortable. Exactly, Pyro. That's the thing, is, I mean, again, like, yes, this is for money, yes, it is a competition and everything, but, you know, you want everybody to kind of be able to just be comfortable with it and not, like, you know, oh, jeez, I've got to have everything be perfect, and, like, this is getting the, the nerves out for some folks, like, Kazooie Girl hasn't raced before, well, she's raced stuff, but not this game, and, you know, like, she hasn't raced this before, there's always the fear of, like, you know, hey, we're, we're almost definitely on the front page. Either that or our viewership, like, shot through the roof from people missing this. One of the two, but I'm guessing we're front page. Um, if so, hi, everybody. Boiler, it starts up on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern. You'll be seeing races at this time every Wednesday for the next two months. You like racing? You like Isaac? Yeah. Trust me. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Hit us up. And slide into my DMs. It's cool. I swear. Anyways, moving on to where I was before. Um... <laughs> But, like, you know, like, getting the nerves out of the way, for example. Like, it's kind of why I'm doing it, too. So that I can get, like, the... I don't walk into Wednesday just being like, Man, I haven't done this in two years. What if I screw up? Oh, my God. Like, this is totally calming every nerve that I have about Wednesday right now. So. Ah. Uh, is all I gotta say. Like, <laughs> this is pretty relieving by comparison to what I thought I would be. And Talon, welcome back into the litter box. It needs more talk. <laughs> <laughs> Talon, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. For real, thank you. And onto the chest over here for, uh, oh, jeez. Uh, you know what? I'll take the host. Ooh. Or not. <laughs> All right. This could get interesting, too. Yeah, this one's GG'd. If he's going to take that book with him, especially. Yeah, this is over. This one's probably over, barring a, a okay, remember, I was going to say barring a room where it forces damage on you. Those are, theoretically, all removed with this mod. So it shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't. <laughs> there's rooms where it could, and there's rooms where it will. There's a nice damage up off of a card. I would use that here just like he did. Oh, it, it changes around too, Resident Evil. There's points where it's like, depending on if you refresh, you'll get different people on the front page. It's a rotation. So some people might get it where others don't. Like Twitch actually tweeted us out and had to delete it earlier. So they're either, we're either waiting on me to go live or typo something. So, it'll happen. If not Wednesday, we'll show up there for sure. One of the two. Right? Right, Night Shark? Like, it's been a while at this point. By the way, come on, Internet. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Keep up. Because the girl's flying right now, too. She's going to be upset she didn't get this for her first run. Also, damn, we got fire cruising in on taking some, uh, some scary damage here. Like, look, I know you're going to get some, like, another heart back. And look, did he get a, uh, the double use battery? No, he didn't. Actually, there's something still on the right side of that. No, there isn't. Never mind. That's just the, the cut in the paper. Never mind. So he's going to be back up to four hearts here. Man, still no batteries, though. That's crazy. That's really crazy that he hasn't seen a battery yet. Of all things. Internet, stop this. Internet, why? Actually, that might be on Kazooie Girl's side. She might have just dropped a frame or two. And Mega Man, thank you very much for the subscription, dude. And on that note, Skeeth, welcome back into the litter box as well. Thank you both very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Get Ragman down before he throws anything. Good times. I hate that boss. Yeah, Kazooie Girl might just be dropping frames at the moment. Yeah, anything can happen. If, if he winds up with, like, one or two batteries, though, man, he's going to be tough. He's, yeah, oh, there you go. I might have waited on that. I might, oh, uh, nope, it worked out well. I was going to say, he's got to be close to his boss fight, for one. That map can't be that much bigger. There it is. And I may have waited to clear other rooms, though, just to get a second use of that book. 
and nobody's touching pills. That's kind of what I thought is no, does none of the racers are going to even touch pills, are they? On that note, though, blasting on through. This is why Fire wasn't too worried about it. Four hearts still remain. He's kind of blasting Blue Baby down. This ain't going to take too much more of me, thinks. Plus, he damages every time he takes a heart of damage. He gets his Polaroid proc for five seconds of invincibility, walks right on in, and Kablamo win number one. So on that note, Fire on Earth, one of our OGs, if you will, from uh, from Boiler Racing, actually takes our first practice race, so congratulations. On that note, uh, Kazooie Girl, I believe, is dropping frames. Either that or I have to really... And this song sucks, by the way. How do I...